Hello, massage nerds. Finally, we're at the end of our pathologies. I'll be doing part three of the dermatologic um, pathologies, and that will be it. We'll move on finally after this. So today I'm going to be talking about scabies, scars, seborrheic dermatitis, shingles, stretch marks, and warts. So let's start with the uh, scabies, which is also known as uh, itch mites. And it's a parasitic mite that burrows underneath your skin. And it's most affected like between your fingers, the elbows, the knees, the waistline, the axillary area, the buttocks, the groin. And it is highly contagious, guys. So it's usually transmitted through uh, sexual um, transmission, even though not all the time. And so you want to make sure that if your client has scabies that you do not work on them. Postpone the massage until the scabies are completely eradicated. And if by accident or if they didn't tell you, then make sure you disinfect the sheets, you know, afterwards with Clorox and uh, the soap and hot water. So next let's talk about scars and scars are left after uh you know trauma or surgery it's it's the damage you know to the skin or other tissues and it can be um ropey or it can heal very nicely depending now there are very special types of uh, massage that you can give a client if they've had a surgery especially like post mastectomies i've worked on several clients you know that have had scarring you know and the scars can get tight and prevent them from you know being able to stretch so it happens after trauma burns uh, you know uh, surgical procedures chicken pox acne and uh, sometimes keloids are formed and keloids are very thick and ropey they go beyond the line of the surgery and it's from the uh, buildup of collagen because collagen is built up to heal the skin and a lot of times it's an overproduction of collagen so the keloids are formed and they're very um, like I said ropey and you might want to work directly on that you, you can do a little bit of friction you know stretching around the scar there's some very specific um, techniques that you can use when somebody has a, sc a scar and I know um, some doctors have referred a couple of clients to me you know one that had keloids I didn't know what keloids were until then and then another one after uh, you know a post mastectomy massage so avoid the areas until it is completely healed you don't want to work directly uh, you know soon after a surgery unless the doctor says it's okay but usually when it's gone back to skin tone, you know, because they may be red for a while and you might be able to work on them even if they are red as long as they are completely closed and healed. So that is the scars. Now, seborrheic dermatitis, it's a chronic inflammation of the sebaceous glands. It usually happens on the scalp, the eyelids, the nose, behind the ears, the eyebrows. If you have seborrheic uh, dermatitis on your scalp, that's known as dandruff. And if it's on babies, uh, you know, on the babies, it's called a uh, cradle crap. Did I just say cradle crap? <laughs> I'm sorry. I meant to say cradle cap. Cradle cap on the babies. That's what it's called. Not cradle crap. <laughs> anyway, it's the. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the. Uh, it's the overproduction of sebaceous glands, you know, so, oh, that really threw me off. Sorry, guys. Anyway, it's, uh, it's an, it's, it's an irritated of the, of the skin. So you want to avoid it. So, you know, not to make it worse on the client. They may be very sensitive to certain laundry soaps and certain, you know, lotions and oils. So you want to make sure that you talk to your client about it and, it's better to use a water-based lotion than it is to use an oil-based lotion on somebody that has the seborrheic dermatitis. Uh, shingles is next, and this is a localized infection. It's a virus. It's actually a reactivation of the chicken pox, 
and it, it usually goes along a certain nerve. It's usually on one side, mainly on the thoracic area or the facial nerve. It affects the nerve and it runs the, the uh, lengthwise of where the nerve is. It's very painful. If they have sores, you know, it, since it is a virus and they have open sores, it can be contagious. So you got to be real careful with a client that has had, you know, uh, or has shingles. They're very painful. So most of the time clients don't come in. I did have a client that didn't know she had shingles. And, you know, she asked me, you know, to check her on her bra line, you know, and I was looking, I said, oh, this looks like shingles, but it wasn't open source yet. So, you know, be careful, make sure that, you know, that they let you know ahead of time that you always ask when your client comes in. I always ask, what's going on? What can I do for you today? So like I said, it's a virus that lies dormant and it can run along the uh, the nerve. It's usually just on one side and it is very painful, so be careful. And if by accident you do have somebody on your table, you know, make sure you wash your sheets and hot water with Clorox and, you know, or anything that disinfects the sheets. So next are stretch marks and this is the thinning of the skin usually due to pregnancy or sudden overweight gain or steroids. You know, it's common in the abdomen, the, the hips, the buttocks, uh, the thighs, and uh, you don't want to, it's thinner skin. This is not like seborrheic dermatitis where there's a buildup from the collagen. That I mean, like scars, I'm sorry, like scars. So it's different than the scars. The scars have, you know, an overproduction of uh, collagen, whereas um, the stretch marks do not. It's thinning. It's very thin. So you don't want to, you know, like pull them open or try to, you know, stretch them out. And no, unfortunately, massage does not get rid of stretch marks you know um it, it it just doesn't it like i said it's not a buildup like the collagen like in the regular scars so next will be the warts and these are rough raised oval shaped uh, masses on your skin they're common in the hands the feet but they can be anywhere you know they can be also around the buttocks you know and uh they're caused by uh hpv the human papilloma virus it is contagious so you want to be careful you know and avoid these areas or work with gloves on or over the sheet and um, make sure that you disinfect your sheets and uh you know warts uh, you know some people have warts on their hands or you know and and I've worked on people that have had warts and it, it, it wasn't contagious. So I think, you know, that you just got to ask and be careful, you know, have they seen the doctor and if anything, just avoid it or work over the sheet or with gloves. So that's it. We're done with pathologies, the dermatology pathologies part three. So make sure and check out part one and part two if you haven't seen them. And I, I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with me with these pathologies because they were challenging. I'm ready to move on to this next thing. Please always leave comments and likes. That really helps me, you know, uh, and I hope you guys stick around and I'll surprise you for the next video. And until the next time, create a great day.